what has happened? Where have I been? I don't even know. <laughs> but I think it's time we had a bit of a chat. And reports on one person already using the brand new system. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna vlog again. So I'm <coughs> dying. But second of all, I'm gonna head into town now. I've got, it's Saturday of this week um, and I've got quite a lot to do this weekend because as usual, I have an essay due on Tuesday and a prom shoot due on Wednesday, but I'm also helping out in department with an access thing on Wednesday. So I don't really have any of Wednesday, which I normally do. Um, I'm actually first heading into town to go to the Seek Sock Access Conference um, and then head and sort of pitch ten in the library and just work there the rest of the day. Won't be the most exciting, but it will be a typical day. So, um, let's head. So the Sikh Society Committee were running an access day that was giving information to young Sikh applicants about interviews, about CVs, uh, just about life in general and how to tackle the sort of next part of academic careers. So because Christchurch were hosting the event, the students after got to go on a tour of the college, which is stunning, so I kind of tagged along because I wanted to see inside the cathedral. I had ended up hanging around at the event for a lot longer than I thought I would, and I realised just exactly how much work I had left to get done, so I popped over to G&D's, got some food, and just started working. After a while, I was just so exhausted and needed to go back home just to grab a tea, get some coffee and maybe move my location a bit. But on the way home, I didn't realise that there was this amazing light show going on um, at the Bodleian and the Radcam. And the buildings were just covered in lights. There were crowds everywhere. I had to get off my bike, but it was just so nice to see. What a wonderful world. I literally have no idea what the hell is going on, but you see some sort of light show. <laughs> So you know how I've always told you life at Oxford is extremely impromptu. You may have an essay deadline, things come up, things happen, and just because it's such a short scale, you want to try and get as much in. So a lot of my friends were going out tonight, and even though I didn't really plan to and had sold my ticket, I went. <laughs> got back from Bully and I had a really good night and I'm really glad that I went even though getting a ticket was such a nightmare so I had a ticket sold the ticket at 9 p.m. going I don't think I'm gonna go I have so much work and then at 11 I was like I actually really want to go and it was like on Ox tickets which is like our Facebook page where people can like a marketplace for tickets <coughs> trying to like get tickets and it was such a nightmare but we got one, we went, and it was great. And I have so much to do tomorrow. I have to start reading for my philosophy essay, but I also don't understand the computer science of this week's sheet. And I also don't have, have that much time to do it next week because I'm also doing all this access stuff. So. And when are we gonna? Okay, time to sleep because it's like 3.30 night. Hey, so we came out for brunch. We had a fun night yesterday. We did. It was quite good. And then we were like, need to cure hangover. Even though it's not been that bad. No, it's been quite, you know, 
calm. Yeah. So we both needed quite a lot of coffee. <laughs> <laughs> I've had coffee and now I'm having hot chocolate as well. Um, but yeah, so we want to test out the IV because it's quite a nice place. I really like it. And it's so much bigger than I thought it was. It's huge. Didn't realize yeah. that. But yeah, so I've got to go head to the library after. But this has been a nice catch up. Still up to the morning. I know, yeah. Even though it's like 12. <laughs> I essentially locked myself in a bodily in after this because I just needed to get through the reading. So I've had a somewhat productive day and I really don't know what to do. Um, I'm contemplating going to G&Ds and working there, but I'm also just kind of tired because I didn't have great sleep last night. Um, but, the, so the two options I can do is either go to G&D's and work now, so three options, go to G&D's work now, it's currently 10 p.m., it closes at 12, so I could get some work, work in my room, which is unlikely. Um, or option three, which is just go to bed, get up early tomorrow and really just power through. But that's going to mean that I've got two articles or three articles to read tomorrow, got to plan an essay and write an essay tomorrow, whereas I want to finish the reading today. So I'm really unsure. It's not that I'm like being really last minute about my work, it's just there is so much. And also once you finish the work of the week, you do want to take a day or two off because it's such a cycle of work. And I know I've hit sixth week and it's nearly over, but it's just quite hard to keep up. For computer science a bit more because the lecture is getting really tough, the work is getting really tough, the problem sheet is getting longer. So like two, to, two or three days to your problem sheet just isn't enough. But yeah, I think I'm actually just gonna go to bed and work tomorrow because I'm feeling quite tired. My eyes going red as well. Okay, good night. So, good morning. Um, it is Monday morning and I have so much to do today. I have an entire essay to write from scratch. Um, Sorry, my room is a tip. Um, yeah, I have a full essay to write, and this is not going to be a fun day. Just lots to do. And then I have wine tasting in the evening, which I booked last week at the Wine Tasting Society. Um, but I've got a lot to do, so I might ditch. But I also paid like £10 for the ticket, so I feel like I should probably go. Um, okay, I'm going to head because. I need to start working. But I don't know which library to go to. This is the issue in Oxford. There are so many bloody libraries there. It's like, which one do I go to? I go to the college. I could do the staple, which is the board. I go to the union library, because I quite like working there. No idea. I first went to Society Cafe, just because it was right opposite the union, and I planned to use the union library just so I could get started with this essay. in the centre of town and because I was getting quite hungry I decided to meet up with Lucy, Ellie and Tamsin and go to prep to grab a quick bite. Hey. 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 We just finished food. This is going to be the first vlog in a long, long time. <laughs> <laughs> so I finally began writing the essay. A quarter past two. I had zero words. Let us begin.
So I ended up getting about 1500 words of this essay done and I only had about a paragraph or two left so I was quite happy on my progress for about 3-4 hours um, and then I decided to go to the wine tasting. Has the style changed very much? I mean, is there really a, a, a sort of canonical way of making wine that you, you, you sort of follow or not? So we're at the wine tasting. What are your thoughts? I think it was amazing. It was a great wine. What was your favourite wine? 2002 red. I didn't like the 2002. It was so woody. No, it was like... It was really it's literally sat there on my table so I could have done it. It was really rich and full. And Look at her making notes. Mine's still on my table because I refuse to drink it. Do you actually? I thought it was really nice. This is me being a responsible citizen and not cycling when I've had about eight glasses of wine. I need to finish. <laughs> I'm literally dead. That was such a good wine tasting, but also now I'm trying to finish an essay and I'm kind of not in the right mental headspace. I'm a Rupert Mango. Type it away. Okay. Essay done. Time to sleep. Or maybe finish an episode of The Crown. I have a full problem sheet to do tomorrow. And it is due on Wednesday. And it's not that I'm like not doing work on time. It's just like work just takes so long to do. And it's just catches up to you. This week I think I felt the grunt of it the most. Um, it's just been really really difficult keeping up with work and I think it's because this year I know it's my last year so I also really am trying to keep up with social engagements because I know that this is the last time I'm going to be doing things like this. Like the wine tasting so I could have very easily sacked that off and done my essay but then it's things like that that I think kind of make your time at Oxford worthwhile because you kind of enjoy those things and if I don't do them I kind of feel quite robotic. And especially after finals last year where I was working like literally like a machine. I kind of need those things to keep me sane. I think I'm going to end the vlog here. First of all, can we just give me a little high five for actually vlogging for once? Um, very proud of me. And second of all, I want to thank you all for sticking around. Um, I finally reached 10k subscribers and I want to thank you all for that. I know that seems like a little speck of dust in the YouTube world, but I really cannot thank you guys enough for the kind of support and love and appreciation that you give my videos. I really appreciate it. Um, I love reading all your comments and I really, really love that we've sort of got a little community going on here. Um, thank you so much. And I'm honestly so pumped and excited now that we've hit 10k to get some more content out for you guys. Um, I know that a lot of you are asking why I'm still here and why I haven't graduated yet. Um, I'm going to be making a video on that. If not, if that isn't out already, it'll be the next one out. So don't worry about that. It's coming soon. Um, but yeah, I'll speak to you guys later. Good night and have a good day wherever you are.